Hey guys, so the plan is today I'm going to show you how to set up a TypeScript React Native app and then tomorrow I'm going to go over how to use TypeScript in a Yarn workspace and then after that I'll combine the two and show you how to use TypeScript in a Yarn workspace with a React Native project that also uses TypeScript. So without further ado, let's get started on the React Native app. Now for this I'm choosing to use Expo and I'm choosing to use um, Expo directly instead of using for example Create React uh, native app or something like that. I found that this worked the best when I tried to get this to work with a Yarn workspace and it has a little bit more flexibility. So that's why I went with that and I can always eject it if I need to go to basic um, React native CLI stuff but it also comes with a pretty nice developer environment where I really like how the code auto refreshes uh, when developing. But yeah, so we're gonna be using Expo. So if you don't have Expo, you're gonna wanna install it like this. So just npm install globally Expo. And then once you have that, you should be able to type Expo dash dash version um, and get a number. So right now I'm on 54.0.1. And then after that, you want to init your project. So you do expo init. I called mine ts-app. Now I've already ran this command because uh, it takes a little bit to download the dependencies. And I just picked the blank project. It'll prompt you what type of project you want to initialize. Um, so then after that, I'm just going to cd into my um, TypeScript app. Now, by default, they don't give you a lot of stuff at all. Um, and we need to install TypeScript and one other package to get this thing up and running. But for whatever reason, if I were to try to install a dependency right now, uh, it would fail because they do not add a name and a version to package.json. So make sure to open up your package.json and at the top, add a name for your project. So I'm just going to call mine TS app and add a version. So I'm going to say version 1.0.0. And now it'll actually let us download dependencies. So we're going to add two dependencies here. Um, these are going to be developer dependencies. Um, so we're going to do React Native TypeScript Transformer. This is what's going to be like uh, taking our code and uh, transpiling it. Um, and then TypeScript is the actually compiler that's going to be changing it. So let's add those guys. And then after that, uh, we need to just make a quick change to app.json and uh, we're pretty much good to go. It's actually not too hard to set up the uh, application with TypeScript. And the other thing is Expo is a little bit weird. It starts your, uh, unlike, let me scroll to the bottom, unlike uh, when using Create React Native App, um, where it kind of hosts a, uh, a version locally where you can open in the app, Expo basically creates it online, if you will, a URL. So you have to use offline, but I'll see, you'll see what I mean by that in a second. So there's a file called app.json. Um, and here we just need to specify a few things. So we're gonna specify packager options. And in the packager options, there's two things. The first is the source extensions. And here we need to specify that we want TS files and TSX files. Um, and then the second thing is the transformer that we're using, transformer. And this is currently in our node modules. And it is called, um, it's that thing that we just installed, I forgot the name of it, package.json. This long thing, so React Native TypeScript transformer. So you can copy that, paste it in there. And then it's just index.js from that file that we want. Okay, so after that, we're good to start our project and it should build and compile or whatnot. Um, but I guess what we should really do is change this to a TXS, TSX file. Um, so now our app is using, oops, TypeScript. And here I'm just going to change this import to use uh, star as React from React. Um, and then you can go ahead and do as much TypeScript fun stuff as you want in here. 
and we should also initialize um, our TypeScript compiler file, our tsconfig. You can do that by running mpx uh, TypeScript and then dash dash init. Um, and then we can take a look at this tsconfig. And there's just one thing we need to change, and that is JSX. We're going to change that to React Native. Now you can go in here and change as much as you want, kind of your own preference sort of thing. This is just going to show you the bare minimum you need to compile. Um, and then lastly, we're ready to start our project. We have, if we do an ls here, we have our TypeScript um, code. We have our options to compile it. Now we and we even configured Expo to tell it how to uh, compile it or what to use and what to look for. So to start this, uh, I like to add two scripts. So scripts, and the first is, and we'll tab that over. Okay, so the first is start, and for this, you do expo start. Now I was mentioning earlier about how it starts online, so what I like to do is pass the dash dash offline flag. And what that does is it starts up um, it locally, so you can use it in an emulator like this. Um, try running it without offline, you'll see it'll give you a link that you can access, for example, from your phone or something. The other thing to start up an emulator, so um, I like to call it just like iOS or Android and just do expo iOS and get rid of that. So, oops, we should get rid of that. There we go. I can't get it to, there we go. That's a nice uh, spacing. So what this does is it just opens up the iOS emulator. You can also change this if you want it to open up the Android emulator, just do Expo uh, Android. And I already have mine up, so I'm not going to run that, but we'll go ahead and run uh, yarn start. Um, we'll let that boot up, and then we'll try running it uh, over here and seeing if it correctly compiles our project. Alright, so it is done starting up. You can copy this URL that it gives you. Um, you can paste it in over here, or it already has it on my clipboard right here, so we'll just open it up from there. And uh, you should see, yep, bundling the JavaScript, and we see uh, the little message that we have. I guess we should change this since we are using TypeScript, but sure enough, it does uh, grab that TypeScript code and compile it. So that's it for this video, guys. I'll put this code on GitHub if you want to check it out. Um, and you can just use this as a starter if you want. And this is pretty much the bare minimum you need to compile and set up a TypeScript um, project with Expo.